Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, thanks for joining us and taking time to, to listen to this uh, passage of Scripture from the book of Proverbs and just a little reflection about it. So today we're in Proverbs 4, 25, and our theme is this. Guard your eyes. Be careful what you look at, where your eyes turn, where they focus. Here's the passage, Proverbs 4, 25. Let your eyes look straight ahead. Fix your gaze directly before you. That's the whole passage. Keep your eyes focused. Know what you're looking at, what you should be looking at. There's lots of things we can reflect on out of this passage. But I would ask you this question. Where do your eyes tend to go? There's things that can happen that kind of pull our eyes in different directions. But the reality is if you're walking somewhere, if you're going somewhere, your eyes are always fixed on the place you're going. And if you take your eyes off, off the, the goal for very long, you're going to trip, you're going to stumble, you're going to end up wandering. You have to keep your eyes fixed on where you're going, which means that what you're focused on will become the thing that you gravitate towards. So where's your focus? Where's your eyes? And ask yourself that question. How much time do you spend looking at different things? And how does that then pull your life in that direction? And I would encourage you uh, with, with what the book of Hebrews says, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. The more you can keep your eyes on Jesus, on His Word, His will, His goal, His desire for your life, with your eyes fixed on Jesus, you're going to move toward Him and towards things that honor Him and bring Him glory. Uh, ask yourself, what do you value? What matters most in your life? And you'll find those are the kind of things you look at. People that love cars, man, their eyes go to a certain car. They can tell you the year, the year, the make, the model. Nothing wrong with that. But if their eyes are always on that, maybe it's not the greatest priority. People whose eyes are on things that, that, that are negative, that are, that, are, uh, that, are, that are lust-filled or drawing their hearts in a certain direction. Keep your eyes on pornography enough. Keep your eyes on things that are not edifying enough. And it starts to draw your heart and your attention toward those things. I was thinking about this idea of where my eyes go because uh, I'll use YouTube uh, to uh, play music when I start my work day. I'll always click on YouTube. I'll pick a, a, a mix of songs, got a little bit of a background and, and just kind of, a, I'll put it in the left corner of my left screen. I have two monitors. I put it up over here and I got to kind of have it play through the time I'm working, just a little bit of background music. But when I click on YouTube and it opens up, YouTube has been studying what I, what's interesting to me, what I like to focus on. So it pulls, it'll pull up uh, the most recent golf clips. And it'll pull up, lately I've been watching some chess, uh, some chess stuff. So it'll pull up, you know, this, this, uh, you know, per, you know, this personality in chess and this, this, the four moves and they did this and, and, and my, I'll turn towards that. And, and I wrote down, I also, uh, I love comedy. So, so when I, when I open my YouTube in the morning and it comes up on the screen, there'll be golf and there'll be comedy and there'll be chess things and there'll be some worship music. But when my eyes look at the, look at the page there in front of me, I might be like, oh, well, let me check out this. Ch and all of a sudden I start clicking on something. That's not even what I want to look at. I'm, I'm putting music on. I'm about to get to work. And 10, 15 minutes go by because it grabbed my eye and I got sucked in. And guard your eyes. What are you looking at? What are you focusing on? And make a decision to focus on the things that you want to pursue. So here's what I do when I turn on YouTube in the morning. I turn it on and I actually go right up to the top bar. I click on it and I type in a specific song. Because if I see the whole page, even though I know what's going on, I can get sucked in. But if I can click in, so, so right now, um, Same God, this is the, the, last, the last week or so, this song called Same God. I'll click that in, it'll come, I hit it, and then I hit a mix from that, and I don't see the other stuff. I, I, I trick my YouTube, right? Where do you focus your eyes? It's going to draw where you go. Be careful about that. Let's pray together. Living God, thank you that you give us uh, this gift of vision. Uh, Lord, most of us have no idea the complexity of our eyes and how they work, but also how they connect to our heart and our mind. So we pray you would help us guard our eyes and turn our attention to the things that matter the most, the things that reflect who we want to become, knowing that as we look to something, we begin to pursue those things very often. Guard our eyes, Lord, so we can honor you in all that we do. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.